tsunami bearing down on the Golden Gate Bridge, skyscrapers collapsing. Can't fault an earthquake blockbuster for going a little overboard. And before it falls through the cracks, CNN and the film studio are both owned by Time Warner. How does a seismologist size up San Andreas? I'd definitely give it two thumbs up. They had me on my edge of my seat. Graham Kent wasn't expecting much science in a film starring The Rock. All right, hold on. We got to get over it before it crests. And the tsunami really hit scientists rolling their eyes. Oh, it's way too big. <laughs> it's all a question of magnitude, 9.6 according to the movie, but the San Andreas Fault isn't deep or long enough to generate that big of a quake. Two cities get hit. All leaves are Could you lose both cities, San Francisco and LA? I think it's highly, highly, highly unlikely. Take it off the deck. Could the Hoover Dam collapse? No, I think the Hoover Dam's safe. Uh, you know, we all laughed at that scene and said, there's water behind the Hoover Dam. <laughs> That's a little dry humor about the drought. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones posed with The Rock at the movie's premiere, then live tweeted scientific inaccuracies. When The Rock approaches the gaping fault line, Dr. Jones tweeted, OMG, a chasm? If the fault could open up, there'd be no friction. With no friction, there'd be no earthquake. But there's one thing the scientists love. Under the table! Drop, cover, and hold on! The movie repeats the duck, cover, and hold on mantra experts recommend. Seismologists speak as if there's no if, it's all when there's a big one. Oh, yeah, it's, there's no yes. And if it makes people prepare, what's a little earthquake, earthquackery? Genimo, CNN. California dreaming. Safe in New York.